Hello Makers! Today's video is about making basic animations using the transform effect inside Caden Live. Sometimes an animation or two can help keep people's attention or help inform them. Before we begin talking about animation though, we have to talk about what keyframes are. Every keyframeable effect in Caden Life has a keyframe. The keyframes are the little diamonds that sit on the timeline inside of the effects panel. A keyframe is a snapshot of the effect parameters at any given moment. Here we have an effect with just the starting keyframe. I'll go ahead and add a second keyframe. We didn't change any of the parameters, so these two keyframes have the same parameters. When we press play, none of the parameters change. But what happens if we do change the parameters on one of the keyframes? Here I'll select the first keyframe, and I'll change the opacity to zero, making the hand invisible. With 0% opacity on the first keyframe, and 100% opacity on the second keyframe, Caden Live will automatically increase the opacity between those two keyframes to 100%, creating a smooth transition. This process is known as tweening, or in-betweening. Let's look at a few more examples. In the first keyframe, the X position is set to 0, and I will set the second keyframe to be 100. Now the hand will smoothly move from 0 to 100 between those two keyframes. You can also modify several parameters at once. For example, on this one, we're going to modify the size and the rotation at the same time. Let's go through a few real-life examples. Here I'm going to use these techniques to animate some squares that I have that I use to call attention to various parts of the video frame when I'm giving tutorials. I'm going to use the transform tool to place the square where I want it, and then I'm going to adjust the opacity so that it fades in to our video frame. The speed of the animation is determined by the space between the two keyframes on the timeline. I want this to be a pretty quick fade in, so they're going to be fairly close together. Caden Live will always try to make the parameters go from keyframe to keyframe in the space that you have for it. So if you need slower animations, make sure you have room to do that. Voila! Let's look at another example. For this example, we're going to have our square fade in. It's going to grow a little attention grabbing pop. It's going to shrink back to its original size, and then I'm going to have it fade out. This is a somewhat more complicated animation, and it will take four keyframes. As far as I know, you can have as many keyframes as you'd like. We can use these same techniques to produce results which are perhaps a little more fun, like this monster clock. For this effect, I took the video of me pressing the button with a pencil, and I just kind of stepped through the video, continuously moving the monster claw so that it covered up the pencil and adding keyframes in order to continue this effect. I just kind of inch through bit by bit, add a new keyframe, move the hand where it needs to be to cover up the pencil, and move on. It helped a lot for me to lower the opacity of the monster claw, but that means you have to go back and increase the opacity for every one of the keyframes which you made. An animation like this might take quite a number of keyframes and a lot of hand adjusting. But the effect was kind of fun, and I regret nothing. As you can tell, this is kind of a fussy process. I'm using the parameter bars in the corner to adjust the position of the hand, but there's easier ways to do this, and we'll talk about them now. During this example, we'll show off the Edit tool, which is a tool that you can use to do transformation effects in Caden Live, much like you would in Inkscape or Photoshop. And you can see with the button clicked, we can actually adjust the the using the corners and the center to kind of reposition and rescale it. Pretty handy. 
The edit tool will also give you a small preview of what your animations might look like. See that line? The line with the square on screen shows us where the animation starts and where it goes. This is pretty handy in and of itself for doing animations in Gaiden Life. I'll show you another example of edit tool manipulation using this end card and then the video will be done. Hopefully this helps you approach the idea of doing animations in Caden Life. It's pretty easy. It can sometimes be a little time consuming, but it's been worth it so far in all of my uses of it. Have a wonderful day.